Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm going to be talking about why I'm ditching V-Ray for SketchUp for Lumion. All right, so earlier this year, I bought uh, V-Ray for SketchUp. And uh, it's a really great alternative to rendering uh, because SketchUp doesn't have anything. So I guess in some ways it's not even an alternative. It's a great option for rendering in SketchUp. But uh, when I purchased it, um, I immediately started having a lot of problems. Now, I'm pretty good at giving software leeway on having issues as long as I can get the issues fixed. Uh, but this particular issue that I was having with V-Ray, I had to go back to the uh, third party that I bought the software from. And because at the time I, th I could only buy it through third parties. And so I went back to them and they had to contact Chaos Group because I couldn't get a hold of Chaos Group to do support for it. And he actually, like we had a, a Skype call and went through a ton of different things. He couldn't figure it out. I guess he used to be a Chaos Group employee. So he like knows all the guys there and understands uh, what V-Ray is supposed to do in SketchUp. And one of the things that he said was that um, I guess a lot of the programs programming was being outsourced uh, to different countries for V-Ray. So um, I guess because of that, he was saying that the quality for the program had really gone down and he would understand if I just wanted a refund, but he wanted to try to help me out. So um, I, I gave it a chance and then it started sort of working. Uh, when I was doing it, the issue was that um, I couldn't open materials or apply materials from the library to actual objects and SketchUp would always crash. And since then, um, I've been using a certain version of V-Ray that was like a test version that he got me that I guess he has some way to get and so he gave that to me and I've been sticking with that but it's sort of like 50 50 whether that works so like if I click this interactive V-Ray uh, button we'll see if it works or whether SketchUp crashes let's look dun, dun, dun. Um, just not really responsive not responding and, and one of the things that he had told me to fix was to, to actually like disable all my extensions and stuff. So you can see I clicked that, nothing happened. SketchUp is now responding. Oh, it's not responding now. Uh, but this is like basically every time I go to use V-Ray, there's literally nothing in this scene other than our scale figure. Uh, it actually worked this time. But it's just like 50-50 shot of whether it's going to work or not. And I just feel like a V-Ray or a rendering software for having nothing in the scene should be a lot quicker than that. So fast forward, uh, I started looking at other solutions just to like expand my horizons on what kind of um, things you can do uh, with other softwares. And I came across Lumion. Now, for me, Lumion and V-Ray were essentially the same cost. I don't know whether that's still uh, still true or not. But the thing that I liked about uh, Lumion is that it's a standalone program where V-Ray is integrated into SketchUp. Um, so SketchUp, a lot in a lot of ways, uh, V-Ray is relying on SketchUp. Um, so like all the crashes and everything that happen, um, maybe V-Ray works perfectly fine, but for some reason something is happening with SketchUp. So um, the standalone part of Lumion I think is great because I think SketchUp in a lot of ways is known for uh, getting random crashes um, more so than some other softwares. Um, so I think the standalone aspect was great. The other thing is that it loops in its own library and it has live rendering. So like SketchUp has this interactive render, so I can do this, but it's like, it's just like adjusting lighting and things like that. Like I can change the way that my camera is and then I can lock my camera. One of these is to lock the camera. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> oh, I think it's up here. Yeah, this guy, I can lock my camera into that view. But what happens is that you like messing with lighting and stuff just takes a long time. Um, so I really like the live version of Lumion much better because uh, it allows me to like adjust the lighting and different things like that. So um, I prefer Lumion in that respect. But I think the really big thing for me about Lumion that was so, so, so much better is that uh, it made it made the rendering a part of the design. Like it kept the rendering process a part of the design process for me um, instead of being like this tool that I'm trying to like get something 
something out of like pull the rendering out it was still a part of the design process and i think that's the most exciting part about lumion for me is like you, you can set your camera up and you can start to add trees and things like that and not worry so much about the processing of your computer and can it handle this it just does and you know obviously you can upgrade your computer but i think you know within my own computer rendering a ton of trees in lumion is much faster than rendering a ton of trees in v-ray um, now i've seen beautiful stuff from both so i think the quality of both uh is great depending on how much time and effort you put into it but um but at the end of the day like if you look at this picture of of my before rendering of this beach house done in v-ray and then when I rendered it in Lumion, it's just a world of difference. Now, I, I probably spent more time on Lumion, but I was fighting with V-Ray to try to get the colors that I wanted. But with, with Lumion, it's all live. So, like, the amount of time that I have to, like, move sliders and things to get what I want is much less but it makes me excited when i get what i want when your vision of what this should look like or what this could look like starts to come to life um, and i think that's really the the magical part of lumion um, like with lights and things like that that you can change the color and see it dynamically uh, change the angle of the sun you can add in people uh, i'm not a huge fan of the people in lumion because uh, i think it automatically makes it look fake but you can add in people you can add in lights you can add in textures you can add in grass you can add in all that kind of stuff very quickly in lumion and in v-ray you sort of have to wait for it to render every single time and you can change the window but you can't like zoom around really quickly and and test things out and move things around and change the landscape and um change the time of day uh so i think from from apple to apple's point of view i think lumion is is worlds 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 ahead of v-ray for sketchup um because for a few reasons they're about the same cost. Uh, at least when I purchased them, they were about the same cost. V-Ray is entirely dependent on uh, SketchUp because it's integrated with SketchUp, where Lumion, you can Im import uh, models from anything. So like I can import a model from Blender if I want um, and still use Lumion. It's not solely attached to, to SketchUp. That, that Lumion comes with a bunch of its own textures, uh, so does V-Ray, but it also has um, 3D models that it comes with. And then lastly, uh, Lumion has like a ton of different effects that are pre-built into it. So um, you can just mess with that kind of stuff to get a quick sort of effect that you're looking for, whether it's a tilt shift or uh, volumetric lighting or uh, a night render or a day render. So you just, it's like one button click and you start to have uh, the scene that you're looking for. So um, it's just a really brief oversight uh, of why I'm, I am ditching V-Ray for Lumion. Now, I won't dish it completely. Um, I think Vera is great if you want to do something super, super quick, like a clay massing uh, s study. If you just know textures or anything like that, you just want to get a good, like, this is what my thing is. Um, it's great for that. So um, I'll probably still use it for that. But uh, other than that, like if I'm doing a real rendering, um, I can switch to Lumion and do that. Uh, hopefully this helped um, shed some light on these two renderers for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these two. Do you prefer V-Ray over Lumion? Have you ever used Lumion? Um, and if you prefer V-Ray, I, I would really love to know why. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, happy hacking.